Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add scrolling text to the Serato video output. The Serato video is one of the expansions available with Serato DJ Pro. So, first thing I'm going to do is launch Serato DJ Pro. And I already have my display set to be extended. Um, I don't want to duplicate what's here. So if you're not sure how to set up extending a display, that's in another video that I have posted. You can check that out. So what I'm going to do is in Serato DJ Pro, go ahead and click the video output. And I'm going to go ahead and move this over. And from here, I'll go to this icon here that has the T for text. Now, I already have some text effects that I have stored. Um, one of the uses, among others, for these would be uh, to promote your DJ handle, or if it's at a venue, maybe some special that the owner's running, or if it's at a celebration, some kind of banner of congratulations on your birthday, anniversary, what have you, depending on what the occasion setup is. So, show you an example of one that I already have stored here. Um, I can go ahead and activate this by turning it on here and have options of which direction I want it to scroll. To me, the text scrolling right to left is a little more, or more natural to read. Um, can adjust the speed. It's slow here, medium, fast. And then I could also move the alignment around a little bit, um, but I would tend to at least playing music video or something like that, try to keep it a little bit lower, lower key. And then one other thing I'll mention too, if you notice the video looks like it's a little bit, like the screen's not quite lined up, I could double click here and uh, take care of that. And even fine touch my alignment a little bit. And then if I want to turn that off, I can click here. And to create one, um, you can go to New Text Effect here. And you'll type in whatever the text is that you want to have. Um, you have font options, variety of fonts, um, font style, size, color. And then uh, once you have all that set, type in whatever you want to have here. And then... Um, saving as an effect. So then you could select something else. So here's another effect I have stored. So and go ahead and just activate that one and then again I can move the alignment down. And there you have it. Thank you for your interest and thank you for watching.